Law Office, can I help you? Hi, Hi yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, can I please talk to Max real briefly? Can I ask who's calling, please? Uh, yeah, my name is Ishmael. Can I ask what this is regarding, Ishmael? A uh, potential claim that I need to file. I'm hoping to file. Okay, well, Ishmael, my name is Barak. I'm actually one of the attorneys here at Max's office. Perhaps you can tell me a little bit about what's going on. Yeah, well, it's just that my uncle successfully had a, had a settlement with Max that he swears by him. Swears by him. Okay. So that's why I thought I'd ask for him. You, you know, I'm, I'm actually Max's son. I've been working here for, for over 20 years at this point in time. Yeah. Um, I think I think Max is just occupied with, a, with another matter. But, you know, you're okay. more than qualified to hear whatever your issue is. All that stuff. So why don't you tell me what's going on? Yeah, okay. I was going to Mount Shasta Medical Center, and I was in an ambulance. Uh-huh. And I was being transported over there. And uh, there was a slight collision in the ambulance. Okay. And I slid out on the gurney onto the road. Wow. This is in Chico. Okay. This okay. was on the road. This was on the thoroughfare up here. Okay. And so then there was a whole kerfuffle. There was another medical services truck passing by the opposite way. Long story short, they swung around. I ended up getting transferred into their medical ambulance, and then they took me up there, and now I've got two, count them, two bills for an uh, ambulance, totaling about $4,500. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and suss that out a little bit. Um, when yeah. the... Uh, oh, I don't know what to do. And I'm still in so much pain. I have gotten nowhere, and then Mount Shasta... I had to sit there for four hours. They never came in at all. I'm lucky to be alive here today from what okay. I went through so, with these ambulance so people let's, here. Uh, yeah. w when did this happen? Like what day? Oh, this was Friday evening, Friday night, about uh, 1030 at night. Okay. And I was right. bouncing around, and I, actually a guy on rollerblades ran over me when I was laying in the road to add insult okay. to injury up here. Man, I'm sorry to hear all that stuff happened to you. What was the, um, what did you originally have the ambulance called for? It was for hypertension. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. All right. So it's hypertension. All right. And then I get dumped on the freeway. There's bicycles running over me, flying like wild. I felt like a kangaroo yeah. bouncing wild. Do you have any idea how the ambulance got in that accident while you were in transport? Uh, it was with the UPS truck. Okay. Do you know what happened? I was laying there. I was conked out. I was out of commission. Right? Okay. Okay. Next thing I know, I slide out onto the road. I felt like a kangaroo running wild. And then I end up at another ambulance about seven to 10 minutes later, they take me to Mount Chest Medical Center, and then I ended up getting turned away. I was unconscious for about four hours straight, and then so I never got tr I never got treated for here anything. In Chico. Mount Shasta is hours away. How'd you end up up there? Do you live in Mount Shasta? Well, I got a ride off my, un my uncle. Maybe okay. I should put my uncle on the phone because he was at least... Uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just, you, you said you were originally put in the accident in Chico. I live here in Chico. Mount Shasta is several hours away. I'm just wondering why they would have taken you all the way to Mount Shasta. That's where my uncle took me. Oh, okay. Ultimately. Right. So I have not gotten so any care because I was thrown off course. Okay. And the whole thing just went wild, and I don't know what to do about any of it. I think that I'm entitled to some kind of pain and suffering or some kind of punitive damage as a result you of this. Probably, I mean, it sounds like it. What what kind of injuries, if any, did you sustain from, from falling out of the ambulance like you did? Oh, my sternum, for starters, uh -huh. has got to be uh -huh. broken. See, I still haven't been seen. Okay. And I feel like I'm missing a rib. You know that feeling when you get a, a bruised rib? I've got mm -hmm. about six or seven of those right now. I can't walk on my left leg. Maybe you could talk to my Uncle Joe. He saw most of this happen, and uh, he was yeah, following I mean, you're along. The person I want to you're the person I want to talk to, sir, since you're the one who was injured. Uh, sure, but so he was there, you, too, and he was following along in his truck. So, so where, uh, where, do you, where, do you, where do you live, sir? With my uncle. 
Okay, so that's up in Manchester. Okay, why were you? Why were you? In, uh, what brought you down to Chico on the date of the incident? Oh, I just was visiting down there. I went to the grocery store. Went to the shopping center. <sighs> I'm going to put Joe on, and he can fill in any blanks, but I need to figure something out, and I need a consultation. I need one badly. Hold on one sec. Joe, pick up the line. It's the Arnold Law Firm. Just one second. Joe, pick up. It's the law offices here. Yeah, again, again, sir, you're the person I want to talk to. I don't want to talk to someone who just saw that you just witnessed the incident. Oh, okay. Well, he doesn't yeah. want to talk so to you anyhow. <laughs> okay, so... So you, been, so you haven't been checked out somewhere. That's just something a that sour. Joe, he doesn't I want mean, to talk yeah. to you anymore. Okay, go ahead, sir. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and do this. Yeah. All right. Can you give me your full name, please, sir? My full name is Ishmael Petraeus Dash Lightfoot. Okay, and you said you haven't gotten. You said you haven't gotten seen anywhere. Uh, it sounds like you sounds like you uh, suspect you've got some serious injuries there. Is there a reason you haven't been to any sort of medical consultation yet? Uh, I've been laying on my love seat the whole weekend trying to find a okay. legal representation. Okay. He said I need to talk to Max ASAP, so that's why I'm okay. calling. I called earlier, but I couldn't get an answer. Okay, what's a good phone number we can get you back at, Ishmael? It's uh, 530-402-0477. Okay. Joe, I'm telling the guy right now where he can reach me, what I need to do over here from the whole ordeal. I'm sorry, my uncle's talking to me here. Okay. That's fine. What was your name again? My name is Barrick. I'm one of the attorneys here. Hey, Barrick. Okay. And I'm Ishmael, okay. like I say. So here's what I'm going to do, Ishmael. Um, you sound, I'm, I'm right here. I'm up here in Oshigo office. It sounds like you are in, if you're residing in um, Mount Shasta, uh, that area now, you're probably, you probably would be considered under a Reading office um, threshold, since that's where their practice area is up there. So Why are you calling? Me? Why are you calling me? You still don't say, who are you? What is your name? And why are you calling me? Excuse me, who the hell is this? I think you're a criminal. You're a motherfucking chicken shit criminal. Otherwise, you would say who you are. Anybody that calls me tells me who he is. Without your name, you know what's going on nowadays. You're a motherfucking criminal. Excuse and I'm going to report you. I'm going to report Wait, you to the number, police, you number, chicken shit. This number, huh? who, the, who, the hell is, who the hell is this? Ishmael, are you still there? Who do you want to talk to? I was just speaking with someone named Ishmael. Who is this? Who do you want to talk to? Uh, What's the name you want to talk to, you You chicken shit? Who do you want to talk to? You criminal. You're nothing but a criminal. You're going to be arrested tonight, you motherfucker. <laughs>